Taking up a very, very serious smoking habit. <laughs> I'm not even going to comment on this evening's behaviour. Oh this is shocking. What are we doing here? I can't do that. It's not going to attack me. Yes. Hello. 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 I know the love won't break me. Dalek. Thank God that's the best advice you're ever gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome aboard. <laughs> Thank you. 
hello from my hometown of Aberdeen. It's not exactly where I expected to be making a snow report at the start of April. Normally at this time of year I'd still be riding, but as you will no doubt be aware, this coronavirus thing has kind of gone global. Yeah, very unfortunate end to what was rapidly turning into one of the best seasons I've ever had it. Very sadly curtailed early. Um, the whole coronavirus thing came in on, uh, well, we, we were closed on about 11pm on Saturday the 14th. So anyway, this is a look back on the 2019-2020 season. Saturday on the Arpeggio. decided to go to the doctor. Went to the doctor, got an x-ray. Now you can see one, but you can see two. In fact, you can see three are broken. And he said it's possibly four. Uh, the upshot of that is that I'm not allowed to go snowboarding for two weeks. Um, I want codeine. Well, that was unfortunately short-lived. I've got basically zero confidence, so Barry very kindly lent me this. Because each time I fall over it's agony, so at least this gives me a bit of protection. Sorry? Got you locked in. Is that thing locked in? <laughs> <laughs> you can tell we know what we're doing here. Yeah. It's not gonna attack me, is it? <laughs> <laughs> what, <I'm doing> it. <laughs> Fresh snow's arrived. The new snow has made a considerable difference. This, these ribs, I was extremely worried going out on hard snow. But when it's like this, you kind of, you know, soft snow, soft snow rules. <laughs> Vive la plan! Vive, Vive la plan! plan. <laughs> <laughs> Merci, bonne journée. Merci. So we're on now, uh, Coloss. Time for spitting feathers on a pint. Mississippi putting it down on the hottest round. I told y'all mother, don't be stopping now. Listen to me now. I'm less than 20 rounds. And if you want me, Ha <laughs> ha
<laughs> Is that the reason we're here? All of you are having a slash. <laughs> One final farewell. Got nothing to say. Nothing well, to say. Nothing to say. Been nothing. terrible behaviour. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Arrived at the top of the bird's room lift. Look who I bumped into. Big Dave, he's back. Uh, this is uh, Igloo Bar, and I know you know this already because I come here quite a lot. But uh, we got a really, really, really good band on. <laughs> But the coronavirus has now reached this picturesque ski resort high in the French Alps. down to shop for me this season. I said a little snow's been. Then we're gonna give it a go and see what it's like.
something. Fucking hell, here we go again. There's a nice bowl here, Stuart. <laughs> Exceptionally warm temperatures today apparently, 14 degrees at 1100 meters. Again, somewhat indicative of the way this season has been going. In all honesty, this season, this season hasn't been good down low. We've got, I would say, probably fairly average cover um, up top. Like, I mean, it's, it's three meters or something up top. But down low, it just hasn't happened yet. I mean, it may well, may well happen. No longer just China's problem. Uh, 5K, ça reste assez mineur. Uh. Riding with Tom, probably the day of the season.
run. And Leo's, Leo's super happy about it too. My name is Anna. This fella. Has a We sit here and we wonder whether or not we're going to stay open. Um, <clears throat> so many rumours, as, as you would expect, so many rumours flying around resort at the moment. So many rumours. But at the moment, apparently the Mary has said that we are going to stay open. Thursday to go and meet uh, Dave and Tracy and see whether or not Dave can say hello without swearing. It's the original. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sir, how are you? Dave, that's somebody as good as you. We've still got this cloud hanging over us a wee bit about whether or not this corona thing's going to kick in. But apparently, apparently, um, the most recent, the most recent thing that's been said is that they're going to play it day by day. This has easily been the best week of the season. <laughs> We're on the monster man side. Just went riding with um, Chris and Barry. I think I got most of it, yeah. <laughs> oh, we're at the Alpec Gully on Barry's uh, great recommendation as ever. And as Chris actually said a minute ago, there's good Barry routes and there's bad Barry routes. <laughs> and we've had them both today. Better <laughs> oh, <they're> sorry. <laughs> Para decretar el descubo, vos ya vas a decir, va a Confirmation the coronavirus has reached Australia. Je sais, mes chers compatriotes, nous sommes en guerre. Nous sommes en guerre.
We're Sunday, middle of March. One of the um, busiest and best times to be riding here. And um, there's a bunch of people with suitcases and people are leaving. All the runs are shut, all the lifts are shut. That's the end of our season. End of your ski holidays as well. It's really, to be honest, it, it, it's actually really sad. Never thought I'd see this. Never, ever, ever thought I'd see this. So that's us just packed up um, Dave's apartment, put it in a uh, Spitting Fellows van. We're going to go back to Barry's. And if you look around, every single lift is shut. We should have six weeks of this season left. But it's all happened, it all ended, rather. It all ended last night at 11 o'clock, apparently. Uh, 5 to 11. French government made an announcement, and uh, that's it. It's done. <laughs> Dude, I'm all right, mate. I'm all right. How you doing, mate? I'm doing great. Right. Yeah. yeah, it's the end of the season, eh? What can we say? I know, man. Say goodbye, Leo. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, goodbye. <laughs> Uh, yeah. This is the end of our season. This is the end of it. Oh man. I cannot quite get my head around a season ending so abruptly. I've just been offered a ride back to the UK tomorrow uh, from Tom. So we were going to have one last hike, but I don't think that's going to happen. Now. I don't think I'm going to have time. But um, this is a look back, I mean it was, it was a good season, it's just the way it's ended, it's sad. We had the, we had the snow that came down, right, early at the start of the season, set us up with a good base. January, not so much snow. But that whole thing was my ribs at the start of the season, that, 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 that didn't help, obviously. February was okay, but of course that's, that's a busy time here. And then we just got into March, <laughs> I mean we, we, we just got into March. This is probably, March and April I think are probably the best times in, in ski years actually. I met, personally, I met some of the best people this year. Um, so even some of you guys coming up and, and introducing yourselves and going out riding. And, um, but yeah, it's kind of, it looks like it's all going to end here. Um, much as it pains me to say, um, but this is our last report. Yeah, thank you. Um, that, thank you for watching. It's been... It's been a pleasure making these reports, I, I, I really enjoy making them, they do take quite a long time but um, I really enjoy making them and uh, yeah at least we'll have that to look back on, you know, at least we've got that as the memories.
permitted exercise. Anyway, that was a look back at the last season. I said before, doing a season is just, it's like a little microcosm in the mountains, but uh, I don't think anyone could have possibly predicted it would end quite the way it did. But we all got back and um, very sorry for the people that, I know there were quite a lot of people arrived that Saturday, Saturday the 14th, didn't get a holiday, you know, so um, we were extremely lucky. And um, despite the fact that, well, I missed the first six weeks of the season because because of doing my ribs and then missed the last six weeks because the whole virus thing, still ranks amongst probably maybe even the best season I've ever had, certainly one of the best anyway. Snow wasn't that great, but I don't know, it's one of those years that kind of reminded you that skiing and snowboarding, it's not its not just about the riding, it's, there's a whole load of other stuff that goes into it. The people you're with, the nights out, you know, the laughs you have. So. Don't get me wrong, I mean, um, I obviously I realise the repercussions, the ramifications of this whole corona thing goes way beyond skiing and snowboarding. There are far more significant and important things going on. And my heart goes out to anybody that's been directly or indirectly affected by it. But, I mean, the fact still remains it did. It did end the season early. And many of you will have missed your ski trip this year. As I say, there, there, there are much bigger and more important, more fundamental things. Of course there are. But it did bring everything to a close rather quickly. So I guess we just have to sit and wait now. It looks quite likely that the summer activities are going to be closed this year. Certainly I know the Tour de France has been postponed. Hopefully that will happen, but it's going to be postponed, I think, till the end of August. So uh, the majority of ski areas, and certainly the plan included, uh, their summer season really runs for July and maybe the first half of August. Um, I know that Val d'Azer have cancelled pretty much everything that they're doing this summer or were to be doing this summer. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Macron just announced the other day that they're going till the 11th. Although I think, realistically, I think most people realise it's probably going to be longer than that. Meantime, it's, it's important to realise this will end. I mean, it doesn't feel it at the moment, but it will. It will, it will end eventually, and we will get back. Um, but if you are missing going skiing or snowboarding at the moment, don't forget that there is... I put a whole load of 360 videos up online. So if you go to snow-guru.com, um, there's a link on there that will take you to it. There's an app as well, but you don't need the app, and it actually works better on the website anyway. So um, snow-guru.com, you can go riding there. Technically, it's not really riding, but you know what I mean. Um, and there's, if you are looking to book holidays and stuff, we've got deals for booking.com, um, Ski Bro for instruction, Ski Set uh, for hire as well. Che cheaper than you'll get on their websites as well. So if you're looking to do any of that, um, yeah. Um, go there, and I'm not going to lie. Of course, I get a commission from it, but yeah, it, 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 I'm still a seasonier at the end of the day, so these things are all helpful. But anyway, um, all being well, we'll all reconvene again next year. I'm just going to have to wait and see how long this thing hangs around for, and how long the restrictions sit in place, and how long it takes to get a vaccine. But all being well, we'll see you again next year. So. I've said before, um, for, for those of you that watch these, you'll be aware that my mother died in November 2018, very, very unexpectedly, and uh, I took it really badly, but um, yeah, the people that I met this year have, have been a great help, I, the kind of, people I met this year kind of became like family, in a ski resort in a foreign land, which is actually more home than here is, so um, yeah, we hope to see you again next year. And really, um, I always say it, but thank you. Thank you for watching. I, I, I do genuinely enjoy making these. Um, so, yeah, all being well, we'll see you again next year. Stay safe. Stay away from the virus. If you've got the virus, get better. And, uh, yeah, here's the next season.